Hello, I am Mighty Mike, and this is my list of the top five mods available to enhance the operation of vehicles in Farming Simulator 19. All of the mods I'll list here today are available from the in-game mod hub, and I will also have a link to each one in the description below. Uh, as a note, these mods are only for PC and Mac and are not available for console. So let's get started with number five on the list, Realistic Cab View. We'll hop into this little New Holland tractor here. The purpose of this mod is to add realism to the first person view from inside the vehicles. Gives you a little bit better view in reversing maneuvers and from inside the cab. One thing I do like is you can lean into areas. So if I, I'm looking over here, I want to lean over and look at the front wheel. I can do that, lean over this way. And that also works from the back. And also, you can't turn your head all the way around. That's as far as it'll go to either side. And if I want to, I can just lean back over the back of the tractor. And you can tell, you can see the connections back there. You want to back into the trailer here, get it real close, and connect it right up. This is the Realistic Cab View mod by Loki79. Counting up from number 5 is my number 4 mod, Real Dirt Color by Viper GTS 96 a clean and shiny tractor it does look sweet but there's also something so satisfying about seeing a filthy tractor it's almost like you know it was doing what it was designed to do and it has the evidence to prove it so the real dirt color mod it doesn't change anything about the driving dynamic of the vehicle but it does change the appearance so you can see here i've been driving through this grass field and you can see it is pretty dirty. It's got a green color to the uh, wheels. We'll just hop in uh, the tractor here. And I have spread slurry on this field over here. And I'm going to pop out to the outside view here. And as you can tell, as we get into the slurry field, the tires have changed to the color of poo. I'm going to ease over into this field that I've put lime out. And rather quickly, the color starts to change. Let's drive around here for a bit to the color of lime. So I really like this mod. It like I said before, it doesn't change the way the vehicle drives or your operation of it, but the visuals definitely do change. So coming in at number three is Less Engine Brake Force by Patar. I find that the dynamic of the vehicle is just coming to a stop with no braking is semi-unrealistic. Uh, I know that in real life much of the equipment used is hydrostatic. And it does react much like in the game, such as your, you know, John Deere riding mower that's hydrostatic drive. You press on the acceleration pedal and it goes forward, but when you release the pedal, it comes to a stop rather quickly without normally having to press the brake. However, when trucks and older equipment reacts this way, I personally find that it is far from realistic. So that's where this mod comes in. The dynamic has changed in a way that you actually need to apply the actual brake force in order to slow down the vehicle, which is more realistic. So I have uh, this tractor staged here, and I'm going to accelerate to top speed. It is full of canola, so not a huge uh, weight load on this tractor, but I'm going to accelerate. And matter of fact, let me turn on the hood. 
So now you can see uh, we have some canola and you'll be able to see the speed. So I'm going to accelerate down this hill and at a tree down the way I'm going to let off of the accelerator and I'm just going to coast and we'll do a comparison have a, a split screen of this tractor and load and then we'll also have on the opposite screen one with the less engine brake force mod enabled so here we go off the accelerator so as you can see the tractor with with the more brake force is actually slowing down uh, I have not touched the brakes it continues to slow down and has now come to a stop. I never touched the brake and that was down an incline. Now on the other screen you can see that the uh, tractor is still going and it will continue to go for a much further distance which in my opinion is much more realistic. Alright, we're here on number two, which is fuel type mass adjustment by Model Liker. Uh, this mod actually works really well uh, with the number three mod, which is less engine brake force. Uh, with both of them enabled, you really got to think about slowing the vehicle down. But additionally, with a mass adjustment mod, the goods have a mass that is more in line with real world, world values. Uh, which is very noticeable in game. I personally feel that this mod adds to the realism experience by making your choice of equipment a more relevant factor when hauling goods. Uh, so you can't take that little 45 horsepower Ferguson and pull you know, 50,000 liters of corn out of the field. So what I'm going to do here is I've got two, uh, two tractors here set up with the big Elmer's grain cart full of corn which is a heavier product in game what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run up this road here just a bit because it's a slight incline so it'll be a good test uh, obviously this really comes into play if you're trying to climb a hill or a mountain such as that but this is a real slight incline here so we're going to give that a shot and well the reason I've got this uh, small New Holland this is rated for 400 horsepower and this is nowhere near 400 horsepower uh, you see I put a weight on the front just to hold the front down but let's hop in and I'm just going to put it on uh, cruise control and we can watch and see how it accelerates then on the opposite screen I'll have the same track with the mod enabled As you can see, it's a pretty slow start on the New Holland, but it is accelerating. And actually accelerating up this grade, which is surprising. Now we're, we're getting to a little bit more of a grade area, and it has dropped the speed down just a little bit. Alright, we're just going to go up to this windmill here. So as you can see, 13 miles an hour finished off at that speed. Okay, so we're here in the case now and it has 409 horsepower. Also have a weight on the front and the uh, trailer, you can see 70,000 liters of corn. And this is with the mod turned off on the left screen and on the right screen 
the mod is enabled. And you can see uh, without the mod, no problem. The case is just blasting off the line and approaching uh, top speed here. Even at the uh, height of the grade, it's still pegged out doing 24 miles an hour. Okay, and the number one slot is my favorite realism mod for Farming Simulator 19. Vehicle Straps by Kenny456. As we all know in real life, any vehicle loaded on the trailer is always secured with either chains or straps or something to secure it down to the deck of the trailer. In Farming Simulator 19, base game, there's no way to do that. But, thanks to this mod, you can. Pretty much all vehicles and most all equipment items can be secured down as cargo. And it will stay on no matter how many bumps or sharp turns are between you and your destination. One of my personal favorite uses for this mod is with headers on a header trailer. It seems that no matter how good you load it onto the trailer, it always seems to either slip around or just flat out fall off completely. Well, Vehicle Straps mod will solve that problem. Okay, so to demonstrate, uh, I do have the mod enabled, but it is currently not on. As you can see here in the drop down menu, it says Vehicle Straps. No vehicle or implements are fastened. I will go ahead and enable it for demonstration purposes. Control S and it now says that there is one vehicle or implement that is attached or strapped down and the total mass is 1.2 tons. So I'm going to unstrap it and we all know it doesn't take much to get a header to come off of a trailer even if I just slam on the brakes normally it would of course when I'm recording it's not going to do that let's do this let's drive up this hill oh okay so that didn't work let's drive down the hill let's get it rough wow that's on there good let's just hit the tree there we go there we go all right See, I turned super strength on to get this back on the trailer. I'm going to set it up here best I can. Take a look, try to get it pretty close to how I had it. Alright. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to hop back in the tractor here. I will control S. And as you can see now, it is, in, it is strapped in. And it will not come off of the trailer. And to prove my point... Let's just do this. Off we go. Woo! How about that? It is on there, baby. You don't you think one time was a fluke? Oh, I'm gonna get stuck here a bit. Oh, come on. There we go. Come on down the hill. Oh, how about a 7 for that landing? It is still on there. I'm going to disable the straps. Boom, it comes right off. Now, I know that was a little bit crazy. But that's just to prove how well that mod works. That is why it's ranked my number one mod for vehicle realism. Well, so there you have it. That's my five top favorite mods for enhancing the driving experience. In Farming Simulator 19. So please check out my description below for links to all of the mods highlighted today and please feel free to leave a comment if you have used these mods or if this was helpful in you finding out about them. I thank you very very much for watching and we'll see you soon.